right, we are back on This Week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM. We're always here breaking the news. So we got a big news coming up. Uh, well, it already happened this week. We're taping this early, but uh, it, it was announced earlier this week. Uh, Gene Muller is now going to be the incoming. Will you tell me the official title? Because I, I need to know that because it's a little different than what Colin Dufresne had before. Do you, do you know, even know your official title coming in? I do. What it's, is it? <laughs> it's Director of Athletics and Recreation. There you go. So, so explain sort of a little bit of what that role kind of entails because it's a little different than what Colleen Dufresne was as an yeah. athletic director. So um, the idea is to have one person in charge of uh, both the high performance and uh, the recreational aspects of the university. Um, the thinking is that it makes sense because our students are now paying a sport and rec fee and it's useful in order to be able to complete the loop. So uh, we have we no longer have our students as, as, as clients, they're also stakeholders in, in what we're doing, so they all contribute to the, the sport and recreation fee. It's wonderful to be able to, be able to allocate uh, resources across both and to have leadership that takes both into account. So um, I am really excited to be uh, 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 having a greater connection with, with Biden Sport now, uh, even more so because it was really well led for many years uh, by Colleen. Um, Everything that I've learned has made me even more excited about it. Uh, you, you can't have success without good people, and my first lesson here has been how good our people really are. So I think that's the thing that I'm most excited about is, is working with dedicated staff, dedicated administrators, dedicated coaches, and I think that, that inspires me. Hey, it inspires me. I'm fired up, ready to go here. Buys in sports, I like this. Uh, let's let's delve into a bit, uh, yeah. Gene Muller. Uh, who are you? Uh, but where where have you been uh, over your sort of background uh, leading uh, to uh, to take this new position uh, starting in September? Okay. So I've. Um, you can give me the short or long version. It's up to you. <laughs> you know. Um, I arrived in Winnipeg in 2001. I uh, was. I did a. a a lecture gig with uh, the Faculty of Kinesiology and Rec uh, Management. Um, Janice Butcher got me here. I was uh, coach of the Canada Summer Games field hockey program and also coached in the CIS. I coached for a year and then I continued, I, I, I was here for a year in one season and then I continued my uh, international stint. Um, I was coached with the Canadian men's national program and then the Irish uh, national program. Um, my wife's a Winnipegger. While I was here, I met my wife. So uh, there you I'm, go. That's I'm, a good thing. That's a po very positive. I'm uh, in Winnipeg for love, the, and uh, <laughs> there could be. That's a great. That's always a good thing. That's good. It's a good slogan for Winnipeg. I'm here for love. I like that. <laughs> so uh, when I came back, I I did an MBA at uh, Asper School of Business. I really was uh, fortunate to get a position back with the university. So. Uh, I grabbed it. Um, I love being around the excitement and the learning and the possibilities in the university. Um, so I was director of active living, so dealing with the more recreational aspects. I enjoyed that. I learned a lot from that. But I also missed high performance sports. So um, I'm really happy to have the best of both worlds now. It is the best of both worlds. I mean, you don't start till uh, September 1 is your official start date. Colleen will be ending up her 32 years here at Bison yeah. Sports. Uh, but you've, 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 I mean, going back, you said 2001, she was the athletic director yeah. back then when you were the, uh, the head coach of the women's field hockey team. And you're being modest. You were the CIS uh, coach of the year that year. So you did a fabulous job that, that year. But uh, you know Colleen sort of in that aspect. And you're sort of picking her brain before she leaves, uh, before you, you uh, embark on you, your new role. Absolutely. Um, I'm, I'm really fortunate to have Colleen for about a three month overlap. Um, I try to get as much time with her to learn from her. I've got many questions. I normally just fire off a bunch of questions and that conversation will go for two hours. So just trying to learn. Uh, I realize my uh, learning curve is really steep. And I think when you start a new uh, endeavor like this, your first thing is just don't drop the ball. So I, I want to make sure that I'm, I learn as much from her so that I'm a safe hand for Bison Sports, um, safe hand for uh, active living and recreation, and, and hopefully uh, to build on, on what's already been accomplished here. So, and 
I think I'm an optimist. Possibilities intrigue me, possibilities excite me, and, and I certainly see that as, as a continuation of that. I, I want to bring success, I want to improve on things, but most importantly, I want to build on, on, on what Colleen and the current staff has done. So, yeah, just delighted to uh, have the opportunity to do that. It is exciting times for Bison Sports and for recreation and services and just, just being, we're in this fantastic facility right now, active living, right? Yeah. Uh, the center has been a, a boon. Maybe talk a little bit about that. Some people might not know, but a lot of the community has now really taken advantage of this. We have a fantastic uh, state-of-the-art facility at the at the Investors Group field. But but just talk about sort of the the, the What's, what's been uh, moving in this campus the last couple of years? Um, so, especially the capital projects, building the Active Living Centre is, I think it was really a uh, necessity for this university. I think it will transform the university. Um, student membership went from uh, 7,000 to 19,000, so we have a more active, more engaged student population. Uh, this high performance gym is so uh, I've unbelievable right? it's state-of-the-art it's of the best I've seen in the world I've been around uh, weightlifting facilities and performance centers all my life and and this is the best one that I've seen so certainly initially when you want to perform well and initially when you want to uh, um, uh, transform and do well you, you, you start by taking away the reasons for success uh, the reasons for failure so what we've done with the active living center with this gym uh, with the fantastic uh, football stadium is is you take away reasons for failure so so or already the environment has improved uh, the context in which people are performing and training has improved so that base is taken care of and now we have to start doing the the, the human improvements the athlete improvements the, because the inspiration is there so sometimes there's a lag period and 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 those things lift and those and and i, I hope that i can be instrumental in facilitating that so we're talking with gene muller the uh, incoming uh, director of athletics and recreation did i get that official title correct that's right it's not too bad that's good that's my job should get some information right i'm going to give you one hard-hitting question before you go here you've had some background i mean you're also being modest you've been part of a couple olympics uh you know you have an extensive background in in sports being on the administration side high performance is there certain stuff that you're you're saying about possibility opportunities there's something you're looking at maybe as a year one goal or is that too early to kind of uh, delve into that at the moment? Yeah. My, my goal is I need to learn as much as I can about this organization and I want to be useful in helping athletes, coaches, staff improve. I, I've, I've always been fairly process driven. Um, I think my, my skill and maybe my vocation lies in the fact that I like to see people perform and I like to see them improve and I like to see them do well and, and, and if I can do that then, then I like to think that I'm, that I'm doing my job. So, so I have no prediction on where we'll be. I just want to keep on plugging away and do well and be in safe hands and, and, and invest in the programs. And in a year's time, maybe we'll standing here and have a, another conversation on where we're at. Well, let's do that. Let's just chalk that down a year from now. We'll, we'll come back and see where we're at. Is there any truth or rumor that women's field hockey is coming back for Bison Sports? Oh, I know no. you have, that's, that's close to your heart, but I just I don't want to pin you down for anything like yeah, that. But uh, uh, <laughs> uh, The short answer is no. no I, I, <laughs> I, I can't see it coming back now. Maybe a question for a few years down the line again. Fair enough on that. Uh, appreciate your time. Congratulations on the new position. I know uh, you're looking to hit the ground running come uh, September 1. There's a lot of stuff to do before then. Uh, uh, but you, you know what? You know, we're going to get them down here. We're, we're, you know, the interesting thing, it's very nice you got a tie. We got to get you in brown and gold. That's Absolutely, that's yeah. that's the new color, you know. That's yeah. the color that you're going to love as you go into that new position, uh, Gene Muller. I really appreciate your time. All the best there is becoming the incoming uh, director of athletics and recreation here at the University of Manitoba. Congratulations! Uh, all the details will be on GoBison.ca. And as always, you're listening to this week in Bison Sports on 101.5 UMFM.